Hey everybody, thank you so, so much for tuning in. So for today's video, I'm trying out this really fun trend, which is all over Etsy, which is tiered tray decor. So this is absolutely perfect to refresh your decor from winter to summer to spring, fall. And of course I'll be using Dollar Tree materials and Cricut. Today's video is sponsored by Cricut. A big, big thank you to them. But I love the concept of just having a tiered tray to display what you're into at the moment. So I really hope that you enjoy this video and you stick around by subscribing to this channel because once you hit subscribe, we instantly become best friends. Did we just become best friends? Yep. And please hit that notification bell. YouTube may or may not let you know when I post a video, but in case they don't, follow me on my socials. I always post what I'm up to and let's go ahead and get started. For the first project, I'm starting off with one of the palettes from Dollar Tree and these wood stickers, which of course are from Dollar Tree. I'm going to go ahead and paint them. I chose the flip flop and a palm tree. And before I move forward, I'm going to go ahead and measure my palette. I'm going to put vinyl on all of those planks. So I want to get a good feel on what I can fit on there and make sure that you write this down. Over on Design Space, I went ahead and put in my measurements for each font. Now, the top and bottom are obviously bigger than the ones on the middle. And then I went ahead and welded them together so that when I put them on the mat, even though they are separate, uh, the words that are supposed to go together are together. So I'm just placing them on my mat and I'm using my Cricut Joy for this, but you can use any Cricut machine. And I'm using permanent vinyl, but you can use whatever you want. Now I'm weighting this all together and I'm gonna go ahead and place transfer tape all together, but then I'm gonna cut it down to make my life a little easier. This is how it turned out. I spaced it out this way so I can fit my flip-flop and palm tree. They have adhesive tabs, but of course you can hot glue them in place and this is what it looks like. For the next one, I'm gonna be recreating my own DIY, which is the famous flip-flop that I created a few years ago using these games. Now with a sanding sponge, I'm gonna try and get off that lettering, but you don't have to if you're gonna paint it a solid color. And with some washi tape, I'm creating lines by going one yes and one no. So I'm using the washi tape as a spacer and then removing it when I move all the way up. So this is where you can get as creative as you want. I'm using a combination of three colors and I'm using one of the little sponges that I get from Dollar Tree. This is in the crafter square section. Some Dollar Trees have it just in the regular school supply section. And I'm dabbing on those colors on top of my washi tape. While it's still wet, I'm gonna remove the washi tape, but make sure that your hands are really clean before you move the tape because you don't want to stain any of the areas that don't have paint on it. So make sure that it dries really well and measure it out a few times. I always say measure more than once before you create your stencil. This is an SVG from Design Bundles, which I will link below. It is in a bundle, which I'm also using another one of their SVGs later on in a DIY. Now I'm just changing the measurements to fit my flip-flop. And if you have a really odd measurement, make sure that you unlock it. You can use whatever material you want. I'm using removable for this one just because that's the only one that I had with a color that I liked. But again, use whatever you like. I'm placing it pretty low on my flip-flop because I am going to create the little thong part so I want to make sure this is visible and I'm using Dollar Tree nautical rope which you can find in the floral section. I'm grabbing two pieces one for the middle which is going to be a little loop and one for the sides and I'm just using regular hot glue for this.
In the toy section of Dollar Tree, they have these wooden dominoes and one side has paper on it. If you're dedicated enough, you can remove that and sand it down. I'm just using the back side, which is just wood. And of course, I am measuring it out to see what size my stencil is going to be. Measure more than once and write it down before you move on. And now I'm gonna grab one of these little pallets because I'm gonna drill some holes. So I'm just using the pallet basically to hold it in place. Now this, these holes are basically to be able to loop some string. Now you can measure it out and make sure that they're nice and even. I kind of just eyeballed it. Now it's time for the fun part, and of course you can do whatever you want, but with the same washi tape that I used for the other flip-flops, I'm gonna do the same exact effect. If you want a different design, you can go ahead and do so. If you just wanna do this in one solid color, by all means, the world is your oyster. Now I'm just gonna grab different shades and I'm gonna use these little sponges, of course, from the Crafter Square section of Dollar Tree and I'm gonna dab them on. You can use a brush, but the reason I like using these sponges is because I feel like it's less of a chance of it bleeding underneath the tape. You can pounce it, you can swipe it, whatever you want. I always remove when it's wet simply so it doesn't crack and get all weird. I'm just used to doing it since I always did nail art. I did some with stripes and some solid colors. That way it just looked nice and different. But again, do whatever you feel is right. On design space, I went ahead and just wrote out the word summer. I did this twice because I created two banners and I made sure that each letter measured out the measurement that I took for the space that I needed. Now I'm going to make sure that I move this because this is not going to be one solid piece. I'm going to print it out or cut it out and then I'm going to add my transfer tape and then cut it into each individual piece. Now I'm just going to transfer them over, making sure that I've already picked the color pattern that I like. So I'm doing one striped, one solid, and I'm spelling out the word summer. You can create two different banners and put hello summer, hello spring, whatever you like. Uh, but I created two just for variety. And they both say summer, and I really regret not doing hello summer. So now I am going to create a little thong flip-flop the same way I did on the larger flip-flop earlier. But instead of creating the little loop in the middle, I created like a little knot. The twine from Dollar Tree is a little messy. If you have something that is a little less messy, go for it. Usually I burn my rope and twine with a lighter, but this is so thin that I really didn't want to risk it. This is what it looks like, and those holes are going to come in handy now. I'm going to use an upholstery needle, which of course you can use the weave needles that they have in the hair section of Dollar Tree, and I'm going to pull those through that little opening that I created. So in through the top, out through the bottom, in through the top, out through the bottom. Next up, I'm using this wood circle plaque from the Crafter Square section of Dollar Tree, two different shades of blue, and I am just dabbing that onto the bottom. You don't have to do this. I just wanted to create sort of like an ocean effect. I really, really love when people create those cool epoxy ocean patterns, and I'm definitely not using epoxy, so I'm gonna try and mimic that with paint. So I'm doing blue on one side, then I'm going above with some white, making sure that it looks like it has some sort of texture. And then I'm gonna go in with the darker blue on the bottom. Now it's time for everyone's favorite part. Of course, it's measuring, and you wanna make sure that you get the accurate measurement. I always make this a little bit smaller than the circle itself, so it's 3.7 by 3.7. Make sure that you unlock your SVG so that you get the exact dimension that you want. Now I'm gonna ungroup this, and I'm gonna hold down my shift key and grab the two pink areas and move it over to the side and weld it. 
because if I weld it into one piece, you won't have two different colors. You're just gonna have one. So keep that in mind. Now, when you send it to cut, it's gonna cut two different colors. These are the colors that I chose and I think it's gonna look super cool. I add the outline first simply because I feel like I have more control over where it goes. And then I add the palm trees and stars. You can seal it, you can leave it as is. I like it just as is. And look how beautiful this looks. Now it's time for the next banner and it's gonna be the exact same step. So I'm just gonna speed through it. You're gonna create your little holes. And if you don't wanna create this, you can just hot glue your string to the back. Now for this one, since I'm using a paintbrush, I'm going to just tape this on to some cardboard just so it doesn't move around while I'm painting. And I'm painting each one a different color. You can paint this however you want, but what I'm making here are popsicle sticks, so I'm trying to do some pretty fun colors here. Once everything is completely dry, I'm going to take the stencils that I made with the word summer and I'm going to transfer them one by one. Again, you can write whatever you want. It doesn't have to say summer. It can say welcome. It can say hello. It can say go away, whatever you want. And I learned my lesson and for this one, I'm going to be using another type of twine, but I am still using my upholstery needle. This was so much easier and I'm doing in through the top, out through the bottom. You can see that very clearly in this video. And you can loop the ends, you can cut them down, whatever your heart desires. With some craft sticks from Dollar Tree, I'm gonna cut them down, trying to get them as even as possible, and I'm gonna hot glue them to the back so that they look like popsicle sticks. How adorable is this? Not only is this perfect for a tiered tray, but also for a welcome wreath. So that's it for me. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. Let me know which one is your favorite. A big thank you to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. And as usual, thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate you so much and I'll hopefully see you on the next one.